What a beautiful sound that was. I just marked a school of like two or three big ones. They're sitting about uh, 9 to 10 feet in about 11 feet of water, so they're close to bottom. That spot where I marked those fish, uh, it was at the, uh, the, the mouth of a little cove. Uh, right where it dropped off into deeper water, there was a little bit of an inlet where, uh, where the deep water followed into the cove, and that's where they were stashed. I know we haven't even got to the miner yet, but it might be one of those types of days where I slow down and throw the big baits hoping for one big fish. Yeah, everything I'm throwing, I'm trying to keep it as slow as I can possibly. I'm going the opposite to start out the day. I was going to see if I could get anything on reaction because there's a couple of baits that they're supposed to go after in cold water. One of them's an Alabama rig and the other one is uh, is this crankbait and uh, I'm not getting anything so far. Yeah, I've been digging bottom with this deep crank in as shallow as four feet and getting, uh, you know, hung up in a bunch of pad stems and shit, you know, just to see if they're hiding in there and I can spook them out, but nothing there and I've fished all the way up to uh, 13 feet. Putin? If you find a sexy shad crankbait floating, it's mine. Okay, so it's floating on its way over here eventually? It's floating somewhere. I saw it hit and I went right back to it, but I guess it moved faster than what I thought it was moving. If anyone's going to find that thing, my money is, is that it be on one of those uh, bass boats and what they'll do is uh, they'll haul ass on plane all the way across the lake, put it in their truck and then haul ass all the way back. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Almost a two pounder. Holy shit, what on? Three XD. Ten four and about ten foot. Uh, probably about eight and nine foot. Well, holy shit! That made this trip worth it. Oh, they're always worth it, even if we don't catch fish. <laughs> well, that's true. Was it just kind of a random spot where you just trolling around ten feet, or were, was there some different structure there too? before he goes into this little bitty cove right here. Okay, I just tied the tactical back on, so uh, I'll give that a try. Uh, looks like we're right in the middle of the miner, so uh, that might have made a difference. So my retrieve here, basically I'm slow reeling about three to four reels, pausing two to three seconds. Reel three to four reels, pausing two to three seconds. Your uh, your retrieve cranks are they are they pretty quick or are they pretty slow? Just kind of steady, medium. Okay, because I've been burning and pausing. Maybe I'll slow it down just a little bit. I've been beating the reeds and the pad stems with uh, underspins and uh, two different colors of uh, rattle traps, and uh, I haven't got anything so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going deep now too because I'm convinced that there aren't any in the grass.
dude. I've been throwing the wrong fucking bait all day. Why would you get? Oh, I don't know. It's only a three, three and a quarter pounder maybe, but it was on the first cast after I switched from that tactical crank to the Vision 110. My guess was spot on. It was three and a quarter, uh, 18 and a half inches. Are you running it along the, the reef? Uh, not right up against them. I was out of ways to make sure that, uh, that the bank had some room to drop off. Uh, it looks like I was probably in about uh, uh, eight feet of water, seven or eight feet of water. Just like every jerkbait fish I've ever caught, it was foul hooked. Yep. I was real patient with him. I was pulling it down to depth, twitched a couple times, I let it set for like eight seconds and then my line just started moving. This one got the hook in its mouth, but he's only, I don't know, pound and a quarter at best. On this side of it, yeah. Um, I don't know, I ought to go back and check the other side now that I'm using the right lure. Took me long enough. I was about to give up and just start throwing the swim bait all the way back to the uh, all the way back to the ramp, but uh, I might just stay here till we leave now. Found him. Yep. This one's about the same length as the last, but he's a little fatter. He's maybe a pound and a half, probably not. Hell, it might be the same fish, I don't know. Now we're throwing on the board, he's not 14. Hmm. Well, I'm sure they're all scared now. Yeah, they probably all just took a trip a little bit deeper. 
That sucks. I didn't get any on the other side, so they're, uh, they seem to be all on this side of the point. I'd have stayed on this side if I knew that was going to happen. Hold my ground. Another 12 and a half incher, 13 maybe, pound and a quarter, 1.3, I don't know. All of them on the Vision 110 plus one. Don't know what color it is, but it's got this pretty uh, purple and yellow tail on it. Greenish back, silver sides. And man, does it ever dart and flash in the water. It looks beautiful. You look like you're headed in. Yeah, I didn't get any more bites and my depth finder just died, so I'm gonna go ahead and start loading up. All right, uh, I'm gonna throw the uh, jerk bait uh, just along the reeds here in uh, similar depths to what I was getting. I'll probably be in real soon. Let's see, it's uh, 446 now. Um, yeah, I can't imagine I'll be fishing, fishing past five. Yeah, that's cool. Just take your time whenever. You look like you want to hurt me. Well, I got my five. Could have been better fish, but I got a three and a quarter. That was a decent one. I think this one's 13, 13 and a half at best. I don't think it's 14, so I'm not putting it on the board, but pretty little near sunset bass. They're breaking the surface out here. I think I could get some more, but I don't want to keep Mark waiting, so we'll call this quits. Goodbye, fish. Goodbye, lake. And goodbye, viewers. The few of you that there are, but uh, it's been a decent day. Took me a heck of a long time to figure out a pattern. I was spending most of my time throwing around the tactical crank. I also threw this uh, bluegill colored quake lipless through the LV500. I threw underspin flashy swimmer with, uh, oh I forget what this is called. I threw flutter spoon, I threw a jig, I threw an A-rig, I threw glide bait, I threw wacky, and I threw Texas. And sorry if that made you dizzy, but uh, yeah, took me a hell of a long time to figure out the pattern, but got there, jerk bait. Used to be one of my least favorite things to fish until I found the Vision 110. Love it. Mega bass. Vision 110, this is the plus one, it's their medium depth version. Um, yeah, I was having most of my luck in like uh, eight to nine feet. But turned out to be a decent day, beautiful out, love it.
Thank mm-hmm. you.